How you doing? My name is Reese. Yiddity, 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 yee. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another King Japes video. Now, it's my favorite time of the year, transitioning from summer into that fall winter season. So, it's going to start getting a little colder. Those cool leaves are going to fall outside. But most importantly, we're going to be getting a lot of good photography in. In my opinion, photography in the fall slash winter season is probably the best photography that you're going to get. You're going to kind of be cooped up, but you're also going to be able to go outside in that nice cold weather. But there are going to be times where you're stuck inside and the conditions outside aren't going to be the best to shoot in so as photographers naturally what we'll do is we'll just start looking at our cameras and I kind of wanted to make a video about that today and update you guys on my film camera collection for 2018 2018 man has been one hell of a ride and I've gotten rid of cameras but I've also acquired a couple of new cameras since my most recent uh, film camera collection video so I kind of want to update you guys with the new cameras that I got also some of the statement pieces and essentials that I have inside of my collection that maybe you guys want to pick up and so yeah man it's gonna be a blast and I'm gonna show you guys all of the cameras in my film camera arsenal but before we start today's video make sure to hit that like button down below and also subscribe again we're gonna be doing a massive giveaway at 30 30k so make sure again leave a comment down below hit that subscribe button and like the video as well dang that was weird <laughs> so without further ado let's jump into the very first category point of shoots bam Alright, now to start it off for the point of shoots, we have the classic Olympus Stylus Epic. For those of you guys who know about it, it has that 35mm 2.8 lens, super, super sharp lens. And it's one of those cameras that has a cult following. Uh, in my opinion, I like the Olympus Stylus better than the Epic, just because it's cheaper and it has a 3.5 lens that's still really sharp. Uh, but the reason why I love these clamshell design Olympus cameras is because you can just simply throw it into something like a fanny pack like this one. And I mean, you are set. I mean, you're good to go. You have a full frame camera in a fanny pack that you can take with you anywhere you go. The next camera that I have is the Pentax IQZ Zoom 735. And yes, folks, this is a zoom camera, but it's one of the reasons why I love it. Super sleek body, and man, you cannot go wrong with it. Again, the Pentax IQZ Zoom 735. All right, now to kind of keep up with that Minolta gang, we have this dope blue case, and inside we have the Minolta AFE. The AFE is one of those cameras that are often overlooked because it's plasticky. It feels kind of cheap, but it makes some incredible images. So it has autofocus, it has flash, and a 35mm 3.5 lens. You cannot go wrong with this camera. This is kind of like my beat up point and shoot. As you see here, it's already taped up because the battery door broke. But uh, nonetheless, man, this one was actually really cool because it has some cool like Japanese writing on the back. Super dope camera, and I love it. The next camera that I have is the Yashica T3. And the T3 is one of the only, I think it's the only camera actually in the Yashica T line that has a 35mm 2.8 lens. The Yashica T4 is the most sought after camera, but it has that 3.5 lens. So I got this one to kind of see, you know, exactly what the difference was. It has an NA scope at the top, and I just shot a video about it shooting with some Ektachrome um, that I'm going to be uploading sometime next week. So if you guys are interested in that, leave a comment down below. And also hit that subscribe button so when that video comes out, you guys can be alerted about this video super dope camera can't really say too much yet still got to go out and shoot it some more but it's been a great addition to my film camera collection all right and lastly we have inside of this case one of my grails when it comes to point and shoots and this one here folks is the Olympus XA. The Olympus XA is a 35mm 2.8 lens, but it's also a rangefinder camera. So you have a little focusing tab on the bottom here, which you can focus just like a rangefinder, kind of like a Leica or like a Bessa. Uh, it has aperture priority as well. And this is like my go-to film camera when I don't want to bring a lot of gear. I don't want to bring like an SLR or anything. I just want to have something tiny on the go. Maybe if I'm traveling, this is the perfect camera for it. Uh, a lot of folks are going to love it, but there's going to be a couple of people here that aren't going to like it as well, just due to the fact that it is a rangefinder style camera. So that is my favorite point of shoot here in my collection. I will never sell this guy. I've had it for over two years and it's been working strong. The Olympus XA. All right, now moving on into the rangefinders. 
This right here, folks, is my favorite rangefinder, the Voigtlander Bessa R2 way, and it's been kind of like my go-to daily shooter. Uh, on the front here, gotta stay true to the Minolta gang, we have a Voigtlander 35mm 2.5 color scope art, um, and this is a really dope camera if you guys are going to be getting into the rangefinder uh, kind of game. Uh, before you get a Leica, I highly suggest, you know, if you want to try out rangefinders and don't want to invest too much money, you pick up one of these Voigtlander Bessas. They have the R2 way, which is an aperture priority model, uh, and then there's the R2M, which is going to be fully manual. So, super dope camera. Uh, you can get a lot of lot of good use out of it and honestly it's like my favorite camera at the moment so the Voigtlander Bessa R2 way now the next camera in my collection here is covered up because I haven't actually announced it yet so uh, I'm gonna let you guys kind of figure it out leave in the comment section down below what kind of camera this is and what model it is uh, I'm just gonna keep it easy and give you guys a quick little hint it is a rangefinder so leave a comment down below on what camera you think this is all right, so the camera died, but I'm going to swap out the battery here. Uh, but here are the SLRs that we're going to get through. So I'm going to kind of go through uh, quick with them. If you guys have any questions, again, just leave me a comment down below. All right, now for the SLRs here, the first one is the Minolta SRT. 201 now i had a silver one before but i sold that one off and i got this one here um on the front here i have the 45 mil f2 next up we have the minolta x700 gang y'all already know about this camera not too much to be said other than it's an amazing camera and if you're getting into photography this is the camera that you should get moving on into the olympus world this one here folks is the olympus OM2N and it's one of those cameras that I really really love for its small and compact size um, smaller than other uh, SLRs of its time super dope and super good looking camera Olympus OM2N jumping over into the Canon world we have the Canon A1 again one of my favorite Canon cameras I like the A1 over the AE1 and yeah super sleek super um, really nice paint on this one really really enjoy this camera to the fullest uh, the Canon a1 pop some dope FD glass I have the 35 mil 2.8 and you have yourself an everyday shooter next up sticking to the Canon family we have the Canon f1 new mine's in beat up condition but I love it for that has some really nice brassing on the sides and edges of the camera here uh, yeah I have a 50 mil 1.4 FD lens on this thing and it is honestly one of my favorite cameras very comparable to the nikon f3 and it has that removable viewfinder here at the top so you can kind of focus in using that as well so canon f1 for those of you guys who know it super 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 god damn i can't put it back on dope camera moving over to nikon nikon whatever you pronounce it we have the nikon f2 as and it has the as finder at the top here um yeah mechanical camera again a super super dope beast i have the 105 2.5 lens on it here uh and it's a great camera if you want to find something that is all mechanical and it's super durable and heavy so nikon f2 love it next up we have the classic nikon f3 again really really amazing camera uh, very very classic iconic camera for the Nikon family uh, has aperture priority and man can't go wrong with that also for those of you guys wondering about my shutter buttons here at the top I actually get them from a company called the more gooder so if you head over to the more gooder I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below you guys can purchase some of these custom shutter buttons check it out you guys the Nikon f3 with the more gooder on top now the next camera here was actually recently only added to the collection maybe like two to four days ago uh, it's the nikon n60 um, and it's an autofocus camera but you can still mount because it's a nikon f mount ai glass so i have that mounted on here looking to get an autofocus lens almost kind of like an f100 but without some of its features so really like this camera for its ergonomics has a really nice grip right here um, it kind of fills my hand up because I, I do have a little bit bigger hands um, and so i like cameras that have a nice big and bulky grip speaking of big and bulky the next camera we have here is a camera that looks almost like a digital dslr and you guys are probably asking like why are you showing me a canon 5d and it's not a 5d actually this is a canon eos 3. the eos 3 was one of canon's i think professional grade or semi-professional slrs when film was a thing back then uh, and on top i have the canon 85 mil 1.2 l so you can still mount ef glass onto this camera and it makes for an absolute beast a portrait is going to be done with this camera I mean you can do a lot of good stuff with this the only thing again folks is the weight of the glass and also the weight of the camera the camera doesn't actually weigh that much but when you put LCD glass or if you put any other Canon mounted glass on there um, of course it's going to be a little heavy 
Now this is actually the last camera that I have in my collection so if you guys have any questions on any of the cameras that you've just seen leave a comment down below. Alright you guys, so that's going to wrap it up for my film camera collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment down below what cameras you have in your collection and if we have any of the same cameras, I'd love to know what cameras you guys have been shooting lately. Also, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below to stay updated for new upcoming videos like the Ektachrome Yashica T3 video that's going to be coming out sometime next week. And James fam, go ahead and drop a like again down below. Appreciate you guys for sticking to the end of the video and as always... Minutes again. <sighs>